everybody is trying to get their hands right now on the M16. I'm going to show you a full and easy guide on it. Now, to unlock the service carbine, we need to collect five components, which randomly spawn at 10 possible crime scene locations. So basically, out of the 10 locations, we're going to get the five components, and it's very random in which ones they spawn. Credit to Wildbrick142 on Twitter for this map. It shows the 10 different locations it could be spawning at. So here is component number one. Basically, after chilling in a session for about 20 or 30 minutes, you guys will finally be able to collect these components. So just go to one of the 10 locations. Here's a map of it on the screen right now. Just fly to those locations and you guys should see a crime scene. Once you get to the crime scene, you can go ahead and pick up the component. All right, so here it is. So let's press right on the D-pad to steal the evidence. And that's one out of five components collected now. We have four more components. So now we're going to wait another 20 or 30 minutes or so in this session. It doesn't have to be the same session. They can be in the same location too. So you can go away from here and then come back in 30 minutes. So me and a friend have a strategy. So he found another crime scene. So I joined his game and now we're both at the crime scene. Now he's going to collect it. And once he collects it, then he's going to leave. I'm going to collect it. Then he's going to join back, collect it again. And hopefully it works. So Search the crime scene for evidence to collect. So I just needed to walk away from it for a second and go back. So let's see. Okay, so now I can press right on the D-pad again to steal the evidence. And that is two out of five components right there. So that's another 5,000 bucks, by the way. You got 5K for collecting each component, which is kind of nice, I guess. So I'm going to change outfits so it auto saves. And then I'm going to set my spawn location to last location. And then I'm going to go into creator and then join the friend right back. And now we're back in the session. And let's see if we can rinse and repeat this. Don't see the blue circle right now. Okay, what if we go away from it and go back? Whoa, whoa, blue circle, blue circle, blue circle. So this does work. At first, we didn't see the blue circle, but now we do. So this is weird. So now I'm going to press right D-pad. That's component number three. So we didn't have to wait like 25, 30 minutes for this one, which is good. Six and a half hours later. So here is component number four now. Just waited a bit, came back to this location. It could spawn once again multiple times at the same location. So it's not like you have to go around the entire map to the different spawn locations. We have a stock or whatever you call it in this game. I'm using Call of Duty terms, but that's component number four out of five. Now let's get the very last one and get this freaking service carbine and here is the final component we finally managed to spawn it in and then here's the final component press right on the d-pad and there we go we got fifty-five thousand dollars. we got the service carbine unlocked as soon as you collect the fifth component you immediately unlock the carbine let me show you it in first person let's see how it sounds too it's got a really unique sound to it i like it not sure how it does compared to other weapons. You definitely feel accomplished after unlocking this since it does take a bit. I recommend you do it with friends so you can simultaneously both look for it and not just one person. Just to save you guys some time and increase your chances because this is a lot about luck. Sometimes after 20 to 30 minutes you're not going to be able to find it and you just need to mess with switching sessions and stuff like that. Now if you want to see how to unlock the stone hatchet melee weapon in GTA Online, click the video on screen now. I hope you all enjoy that video. And peace.